Hey there, it's Brittany. I'm back with another tutorial. Um, welcome back. Today we're going to be doing something really different that I haven't, I haven't even tried before. So we're going to learn together. Um, I have an idea in my mind, but uh, we're going to be using cork paper or cork fabric today to make some earrings. So I got the, these sample sizes from Candy Cooper in um, a distash box that I bought from her Etsy shop. But these cork papers or fabric or whatever are re readily available on Etsy. So you can find them anywhere. I don't really have any links. I do have some of my favorites so they have some fantastic patterns. Um, but we're gonna turn these into some earrings. Because I don't have a die cutting machine at the moment, I, I got rid of uh, like all of mine. I think I had three or four when I was in Ohio. Um, <coughs> I haven't, and I moved across country, I haven't replaced them yet. Um, we're just gonna do it the old fashioned way. I You can use any type of shape. You can cut something out of cardboard, you can use a lid on, of something. Today I'm gonna use some of my polymer clay cutters um, and we're gonna use three different shapes. So I have this like slanted triangle, I have a hexagon and I have a teardrop. And I've gotten these just on the internet. You can find them anywhere. I think actually this one came from Michael's but one came from AliExpress, I don't even really remember where the other one came from. So um, I want, I think I want the red ones to be the teardrop. So what I'm going to do today is I got this, I've had this, I'm gonna turn it over to the to the wrong side. I've had this, it's um, just a Sharpie fine point from the Dollar Tree. I got that from, I think it was like one for a dollar. So, okay, I want, I want the pattern to be like vertical, so I'm gonna turn it over. And I'm literally just going to trace. Now you can choose how you wanna trace. Do you wanna trace on the inside or the outside? So for this one, I am going to trace the inside. And the good thing about doing it on the bad side of the fabric is you can't see my mess ups. <laughs> so I'm just gonna do two. And you can sit and be more economical than I am uh, and place these a little better so they're not right in the middle. Um, and then I'm going to grab my fabric scissors. Oops, putting the cap on that. Um, and we're just going to cut them out. But first I'm going to um, trace some other ones onto um, the rest of the cork. Um, I think I'm going to do this sloped triangle on the regular cork, cork with the gold. So we're gonna run into a little bit of an issue here. I think I might have, so this is one, this is one specific um, direction, right? Uh, we can flip it over, but there's gonna be an issue there with the lip inside the 3D cutter. So I think I have one of the other side. What we can do is just, um, uh, we're going to trace it so the lip I'm going to trace around the outside of this one because it's just too hard because of the lip of the cutter sorry it's a little awkward I feel like I'm learning how to trace in first grade again my mind is still blown by my first te grade teacher tracing um, without lifting up her hand I still remember that from first grade her name was Miss Gladys she was awesome. Okay, so we've traced the outside of this one. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip it over. Actually, you know what? I'm not, I was gonna draw on the front, but what we'll do is just cut this out, turn it over, and then cut around it on the other side. And then this one's gonna be pretty hard to see since the back is black. So I'm going to, I'm gonna try it, and if we can't see it, we'll do it on the front. I can see it quite clearly. I don't know if you guys can see it, but um, as long as the person cutting can see it, it'll be fine. All right, I'm gonna grab my scissors and I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm going to start by cutting out this shape. This is the one we're going to trace or cut around on the front. And this cork is really easy to cut if you have sharp scissors. So these are my um, fabric scissors. I haven't been as diligent and only cutting fabric with them as I should have been at first I mean I've had these for a few years at first I was like don't come near my fabric scissors with your paper but now it's like mm, do 
I feel like digging for another pair of scissors? Um, I got these at Joann's several years ago and they were like the best purchase ever. Okay, so we have our first shape and it's a little, it's a little wonky at the top, a little pointy. There we go. So there's our first shape. Um, we're going to uh, flip it this way. And I could trace around it, but I'm just gonna cut around it. It'd be easier, faster. I feel like these little sheets will go a long way too. So, I mean, depending on what you wanted to make, if you want to make a tinier charm, hang some stuff on a necklace, probably even create a tassel out of them. Okay, so there's our first pair, and they're super cute. I'm just gonna trim this up a little bit. It's a little pointy. And this would be super easy if you have a die cutting machine. I can't wait to get another one. I, I really liked my Cricut when I had it, or not my Cricut, I'm sorry. I didn't, I actually really didn't like my Cricut. Um, I liked my Cuddlebug when I had it. Um, but. All, all in due time. Uh, okay, so there's our first set. Um, I'm going to quickly cut out the rest of these and we'll be back. Okay, here are our raw pieces. So there are several different ways we can go with these. Um, and I'm going to show you three different ways. <laughs> Surprisingly, I had the hardest time cutting out the hexagons. I think my cutter is a little wonky. It just, it isn't the best. And I've noticed that when I um, cut with it in polymer clay. So um, I'm just checking to see there aren't any like harsh lines in my things. I'm just gonna touch them up just a little bit because it's hand drawn. Okay. Um, so I have a definite idea for actually probably all three of these, but for these for sure and these, um, but something that you could do is you could just put this on, depending on the pattern or whatever, if you just want to need a pair, pair of cork earrings, just put that on a jump ring and an ear wire and you're ready to go. Fastest earrings ever. Um, you could also make, um, actually I'm going to try that because I have more if we, um, we uh, need it. I'm, go I'm gonna cut all the way up to here. I'll make a hole there and we're just gonna make these into fringe. So that's what we're gonna do with that. I just had that idea. I think that'll be really cute. For these, I'm going to take my um, 18 karat gold leafing pen from Krylon, shake it up. Got this from Hobby Lobby with a 40% off coupon. Make sure that you have a good flow before you, I'm gonna take some um, scrap. Make sure you have a good flow going. I do. And I'm just going to put polka dots on here. Hopefully, I haven't tried this, guys. So if it fails spectacularly, I'm sorry. Oh, no, it's super cute. Okay. So just put polka dots wherever you want or stripes or hash marks or whatever dot or, or pattern you'd like on your earring. And yeah, it looks a little rudimentary, but I really love how it looks. It's like handmade. Hello. Okay, so we have one done. It took me 30 seconds. 
I'm gonna do another one. If you want bigger dots, fine. If you want to use a stencil and paint with that, more power to you. These are adorable. And you'll see what I do with them in a moment. They're they're kind if you're like, Brittany, what are you doing? <laughs> you'll see what I want to do in a moment. You know I love gold. So alright, so those are gonna dry off to the side. I need to find a hole punch for these so, or for all of them so I can make a hole in the top so they can hang from an, uh, a jump ring but I'm going to um, grab these little lizard gecko earring findings I got from Augie at um, I think it's the Queen's Beads um, findings I can't remember I know there's another word there um, but I'll leave a link to her Facebook group below she's uh, to stashes some items or sells some items and she watches all my videos and she's so sweet so check out her group um, and I will be making a bracelet with these later on but I, I'm not showing you guys a bracelet today because I feel like I've been showing you all my bracelets so when the day 60 comes up you're not gonna care <laughs> I want to have some surprises so anyway we have two geckos um, the cool thing about these geckos is they're double-sided so we can have a right earring and a left earring so I'm going to hang those from the in the front of the earrings I just love how striking that silver is in front of the red and I'm gonna grab um, some type of um, turquoise bead to to hang up here and or hang below here too so there's our second set and I'm gonna try this out if it doesn't work my bad and then we'll just keep going we'll just um, forget it ever happened so wish me luck oh, it's a little thick hmm so I started on a slant and I don't really like where this is going we can try the second bead or second component and see if starting not on the slant works you know what? I lied. I love it. I lied. <laughs> I actually really love that. Okay. Okay. So we're going to start. I started on this side. So we're going to start again on the other, the opposite side. I never know if I'm going to like something until you see how it turns out. But there's no harm in trying, right? And if this isn't your cup of tea, that's cool. We'll have a different video tomorrow, hopefully. Okay. Yeah. So those are so cool to me. Okay. They're not they might not flip around like tassels would, but I think it just gives it a lot of depth. And if you're concerned, maybe you can take your gold leaf pen and go around the side. Because this already had gold on it. I like that. Experiment. Try new things. Oopsie, sorry, not in the camera. I'm just going to run it around the outside. I'm not going to do the fringe. That would take a lot of time. Let's do the outside. Okay. I know I'm working on like three pairs of earrings at once, but why not? That's how my brain works. I work on 16 things at a time. Get everything half done, and then it's the end of the day. <laughs> oh, goodness. Okay, so we'll figure out something to go with those. I might hang a gold charm or something in the front of them. Um, now I need to find, I want like an, a weird, like oblong-ish bead turquoise to hang in front of these. And I don't, I'm gonna have to go search. I'm gonna have to go really looking through my stash because I can't think of anything off the top of my head that would 
possibly work. Um, although I am seeing these beads for the cork one. These are from Heidi. Hmm. No, I don't quite like how that looks. Okay. All right. I will be, I will go search and I'll be back. Okay, so I grabbed several things, including some tools to make a hole in our cork. Um, so worst case scenario, you can use the tip of your scissors. Um, I have a paper piercer. Of course, this one's like covered in glue. I use it for everything. Um, you can just take um, your cork and it goes right through and you can make that hole wider. Um, and you slide your jump ring through. Um, I have a regular, this is just a regular hole punch. Um, I have it in several sizes. And that was super simple, super easy. And then I also have this hole punch for metal, which I haven't tried on this yet. Yep, and that worked too. The hole kind of stayed in there, but you can work that out. There we go. So tons of different ways. And like I said, you can just use the tip of your scissors too, or a knife or a drill. You could just use your Dremel or your rotary tool or your household drill. Anything will work. You can use a nail or a screw and a hammer. Um, okay, so I got brought over some different items that I wanted to see if it matched anything I have. So I have... Ooh, these are pretty. These came from an old Walmart necklace. Oh, this one has three holes. This one only has two. What the heck? Okay. Okay, that one has four. <laughs> okay, good. I have another one that has two. Oh, things that life throws in your way. Okay, so originally I wanted these to go with these. Oh my gosh, see how blingy that is? That's so awesome, but they also look really cool with these. But I actually, oh no, do you see that this one's off center? They're both off center. Just off center. So <clears throat> this hole, if it was centered, would be right there. Gosh darn it. These are so blingy. I'm guessing they were on a necklace that went like this or something. And I took it apart so happy oh my gosh I don't know what to do because I really just want unless I just did, did it like that so they hang kind of sideways we might be able to do that I think that would make these look better than those I also brought over these metal charms I got these right before <coughs> excuse me my fret spending freeze at my, uh, Joanne's in the scrapbooking department. Cut that off. Yes, I'm using my fabric scissors to cut plastic. Uh, all right, so my other idea had been was had been was to incorporate this leaf, this monstera leaf. But now I don't know how I would do that. Ugh, no, I don't like it. Okay, so we have to figure out something for that. I like how this is going and it's gonna tilt these a little bit. We have to figure out something for our polka dots. I'll have to go look in a minute. Um, and then I brought over a bunch of different turquoise things for my lizard earrings. So I have these like fat cross beads. I think they're just a little too big. Uh, those are kind of cool. Okay, what's the possibility? They're very thick. Um, I also brought over these hearts, but actually looking at them, they're way too big. Um, I brought over some diamonds and some rectangles too. I actually really like the diamond and the rectangle is a little big. So let me see what the uh, cross looks like. With the hexagons. Gosh, these hexagons are really wonky. <laughs> I actually like that. Of course I like it. It's turquoise. <laughs> I'm 
Okay, I'll have to think about that. I, I don't know about those guys, but we'll, that's for sure gonna happen. And I really like this with the diamonds. So let me cut the diamond open. Okay, I'm gonna grab my silver wire. You can use, well, I don't know that I have any silver head pins near me. I don't know that I have any head pins at all near me now that I'm thinking about it. Okay, I had silver eye p or head pins near me, but not silver eye pins, and I needed eye pins. So I'm just going to cut a length of wire. Doesn't have to be long because these are very tiny beads. Um, I'm going to. I could wire wrap it on to my. Okay, so let me cut a. I'm sorry, I'm not using full sentences. <laughs> a hole in my. Um, the tip of my piece. Just so you have the same hole in the same space, line those two up and do it again. Okay, perfect. All right, so I have a couple options. I could just put a jump ring here, which is what I'm going to do because um, I just don't want to chance it with ripping while I'm wire wrapping. The other issue I'm having is I don't know that I have any smaller, um, oh, I have one silver small jump ring. So we'll see if this one works and if it does then I'll have to go get some more. But um, if it doesn't work then we'll use a, a larger jump ring. Of course, I'm trying to do this uh, with one pair of pliers. Goodness, it's so adorable. Their little um, gecko. Now you could make this smaller to fit a smaller um, gecko, or you could cascade some crystals or some fringe in front of this, which I might still do. Um, and then we're going to, I'm just gonna do simple loops on this because it's just easier to do simple loops. <laughs> Um, especially when I don't know the orientation of the bead. Um, okay, I was looking for my one step looper, but I think that was one too many tools that I'm <laughs> trying to find today. Cannot wait until I'm in my new house. Oh my gosh, guys, I, oh, I almost lost it last night. I went to visit the house. I go every two, every few days and they had installed the air conditioner in the wrong spot in the wrong place I I lost it I was so upset and uh, thankfully I didn't really have to fight them to get them to change it but I, I was I was like what do I do I, I don't know how to fix this they, they literally installed a huge air conditioner in the wrong spot oh it was a, a really rough night because I didn't go until after work and so I couldn't talk to them until today okay so I'm, I'm not gonna worry about what way things are facing yet but that was a lot of anxiety and adrenaline over the last night who puts an air conditioner in the wrong spot <laughs> okay so we have our two loops I wasn't really paying attention to which way I was um, doing this and actually I think they both need to be th this way so we'll do that in the second one.
Ouch. See, I'm a little straighter than that. Okay, so this way it will just be on the jump ring and then that ear wire. I have to find an ear wire somewhere. Of course, this is my new favorite color, com well, not my new favorite color combo. I've loved this color combo for at least 15 years, but I haven't been doing a lot with it lately until I showed you guys my bracelets, and now I'm, like, obsessed with it again. So we could do a bigger bead up there if you felt like it, but I really just, like, like where we're going with this. Um, I, I do feel like it's missing something. I feel like maybe we should do a smaller i think that should be smaller um i'm looking over towards my cutters to see if i have a smaller one so we can cut it out a little bit so it's a little more important proportion i'll be right back okay so i have it was a stacking set so i have two smaller sizes i just want to see that one i think would still be too big I actually think this one would be perfect. So I'm not even going to, I'm not gonna create a problem for myself or even start a new piece. I'm just gonna do, I'm gonna go with my current piece and redo it. Make changes as you need. Don't, you're not stuck when it, with anything ever. Just take it apart, change it around. If you're worried about somebody seeing the back of your earring, cut out two pieces and glue them together. Piece, uh, bad side to bad side. So we'll go ahead and cut this one. I was so not motivated to make a video today and I was like, but you know, jewelry makes me happy. And, but I was like looking through everything. I was like, I have so much stuff, but I just don't want to touch any of it today. And then I finally saw these in my leather drawer and I was like, huh, that'll be cute. And it was so, okay. Since I only have the one jump ring over here right now, grab this one. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. It's so much better with a little bit smaller. I do really like this size, but it, I would have needed a bigger charm. I just, I really wanted to use this little gecko and look how sweet that is. That is just the sweetest little earring and nobody's gonna have anything like that. Oh my gosh, I love it. It made me so happy. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna cut um, this one as well and I'll be right back okay so here are our finished earrings sorry it's a hot mess behind the earrings but um, oh my gosh it's so cute 
I thankfully have two more of these charms. One I'm going to turn into a pendant and one I'm going to turn into a bracelet. Um, but not anytime soon. I will be actually doing the bracelet, I think, on camera. So, um, yeah, that is like the cutest little Southwestern pair of earrings I've ever seen. And they were easy. Oh my gosh, so cute. Thank you, Augie. Again, those are really cute. Okay, so this one, I'm going to create our hole in the top. If I can find my punch here we are okay. and I'm gonna eyeball this one because it's not exactly the same it's a reverse shape so okay and then I'm just gonna grab some jump rings oh I just spilled some beads of course Um, actually, I might need two jump rings now that I'm thinking about it. Oh, I think I actually need a couple jump rings, so. Okay. We will go ahead and grab one of the jump rings. We'll put that on one of our pieces. And then make sure that we have the one that's facing the right direction. Oh my gosh, these are so cute. I really wish I weren't earrings. Well, whoever gets these will be a happy person. Okay, so something like this you would obviously want to uh, refrain from getting wet or avoid getting wet um, because I this might uh, deteriorate. You could also take some probably GS Hypo cement and go around the sides like with your finger or something to make it a little um, less uh, uh, apt to fraying um, or there might be some like no fray or something like that. Um, now we're gonna connect them to our ear wires. Just have two 10 carat plated gold-plated ear wires from Hobby Lobby. And actually, I don't think we need our jump rings. Goodness. There's our first earring, <laughs> and it's so sweet. Oh, it's so sweet. And then our second earring. Okay, look at these guys. Look at those. They're so blingy, and... Special. I really like these. I mean, again, you don't have to c cut that fringe if you don't like it, but I actually really like it. I don't know why. It kind of reminds me of wings or something. But anyway, those are so fantastic. I'll leave a close up um, at the end of the video. Okay, now we got to figure out what the heck we're going to do with these hexagons. I'm loving that dot pattern. I don't know if I'm loving the hexagon shape. Um, I thought I grabbed, oh, I did. I gra grabbed some quatrefoil turquoise beads. Um, these just came from. Michaels and I actually like that a lot better than that cross we were looking at but I still like that it's like a graphic like um, shape 
love this. Okay, so now are we going to do it that way? Eh, no, sorry, not in the screen. Are we going to do it that way or are we going to do it this way? I don't really love that. And I can tell that this is not a perfect hexagon. <sighs> I'm getting frustrated. Okay, I like that a little bit better. I actually kind of like how it's not perfect because it looks more um, artisan. Okay, I like that one. So now we have to figure out this one. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to cut a hole or punch a hole in the tip of each one of these. Oh my gosh, these make me so happy. These bring, bring me back to my um, scrapbooking days. And there was one scrapbooker that this actually really reminds me of and with the painted dots. And I, can't, I cannot remember her name to save my life. So um, I don't think I have a head pin around. Oh, we're gonna need we're gonna need eye pins, not head pins. Oh goodness, goodness. I don't know if I have. I don't think I have a gold head pin. And we need gold head pins because of the we don't have anything to go in the center, so we don't want um, we don't want that to be obstructed by a gold piece of wire in the middle. Um, well, I don't have gold head pins, I don't think. <gasps> oh, nope, I lied. Okay, just found a little baggie of them in this random bin. Ugh. How lucky is that? The two fell out right away. It's a big hole in this bag. Okay, so we need four. And sometimes these can be a little tricky. So first I'm just going to grab my quatrefoil. Oh, this one's going to be super easy. And if you just wanted this to be like a drop, you would just do one. But I'm going to, I want it to be a connector. So I'm going to do two. So the problem with this is it, since these two are swinging um, independently of each other, it might not work as well as it did on our um, red pair as a connector, but we'll see what happens. And then you'll just go out the other side. Sometimes it's not as easy to, as I just made it look. Sometimes these um, beads don't have a big enough opening. Sometimes the holes are too small. It makes you want to pull your hair out. But these are surprisingly easy to work with. Thank you, Michaels. <laughs> okay. So we can, we have a couple options. I think I am going to use a jump ring here just because um, I want a little bit more separation from the quatrefoil and the hexagon. Oh my gosh, it's so sweet. That is such a cute little earring. Okay, I'm going to do the second one.
Oopsie, this guy got bent a little bit. Okay, so that one, actually that one's not moving around at all, which is awesome. It's just because I tightened the uh, wire or the head pin more than I did on the first one. We have a little fuzzy in the back. Let's wipe that off. Okay, and then I have my little ear wires. Well, I have one ear wire. Oh, there's the other one. Oh my gosh, this is so adorable. I just love this earring. I did. I was worried. I was really worried, but I really, really like how that came out. And it's just, it's just making me jealous because I'm not going to be able to wear these, but just have to think of positively and how beautiful somebody will look wearing these earrings in the future. Somebody is not me. Okay, guys, let me know what you think. Which one was your favorite? Um, do you like this technique and, um, whoopsie, we need to turn this guy around. Look, I did it wrong. So, yep, got to turn him around. Um, and if you want to see more of, um, cork and cutting shapes out of maybe fabric or leather or whatever, let me know. Um, I have a lot, I have a lot of stuff guys. I, jewelry making was not old, my only hobby over the years. So I don't know why this keeps, why I keep doing this on the wrong side. There we go. So anyway, let me clear off all this junk in the background and show you all three pairs. Okay, here's pair one. <gasps> They're so cute. It's giving me good ideas for brown and gold and turquoise too. And then this adorable pair. All of them are like statement earrings too because First of all, nobody's going to have these earrings, not one person. And then oh, our little Southwestern geckos, these are so cute, they're so cute. Okay, so I'm surprised I cannot choose a favorite between the gecko and the brown ones. I actually really like both and I think it's because they both have my favorite color in them. But, oh, and I really like how sparkly these are. It's so hard to choose. Okay, I can't choose. <laughs> so you tell me which one's your favorite. What Do you want to try this out? Um, I think I have many more sheets of uh, cork in my future. I have a bunch in my cart on Etsy, and there are some with really cool prints. So uh, let me know if you'd like to see something like this in the future. Thanks so much for watching. Stay tuned for Goldie. I'm going to get a little uh, video of her. She's watching me very patiently right baby and uh please like and subscribe and if you know somebody who likes earrings or bracelets or beads or jewelry or nonsense please <laughs> um share my channel thanks so much have a fantastic rest of your day Bye bye sweetie no why do you jump down every time i talk to you huh oh because you want to lay on mommy's lap oh yeah hello oh look there's beads in the background beads and my puppy my two favorite things hi hi oh look at that little paw hi 
Hello. Nope, you got crusties. Say hello to your friends. Hi, friends. Hi, friends. Bye-bye.